is Scott Howard from Earth and Hand Natural Building and I'm here to show you my latest creation. This here is an earth bag house and we're using the latest technique in earth bag building. It's called Hyper Adobe. These red sacks here are mesh bags, kind of like onion bags that you get at the store. Um, so this is a lino mesh and a bag that we're using, not a continuous bag. And we're using the good old fashioned Nada Kalili invented super adobe white poly bags there at the bottom. That's for holding gravel, creating our foundation. The roof is going to be an eco roof. And we're building a berm around the back of the building here to actually retain heat. It's an earth battery, which will help heat the home through the winters. So it's November, it's getting cold, and we're working as fast as we can. We hosted several workshops during the construction of this house, allowing many students to learn these techniques. Here we see the layout of the foundation and the beginning of the excavation. This is the north side of the earth bag house. The building design is U-shaped, facing south with many windows to capture the solar energy and store it in the mass of the walls and the floor. We save the dirt from the excavation for use later on in the building. Earth bag building is great for people and the earth because it uses most of the materials from on site so that they have very little embodied energy. All the materials we use are also completely non-toxic. We are using a gravel filled trench below the building for good drainage. The lower courses, made from white super adobe bags, are filled with gravel, which provides drainage and prevents moisture from wicking up into the clay portion of the wall. After completing the stem wall, we move on to using the hyper adobe or mesh bags. These are filled with a mixture of moist clay and sand. We always keep the earth mixture covered to prevent it from drying out. These clay sand courses stick directly to one another because the material squishes out of the openings in the mesh. So we skip using barbed wire which speeds up construction and makes it easier and safer. Compared to the white bags, the mesh bags make a much easier surface for applying plasters. Notice the use of the window boxes to hold the spaces for the windows. You can see the application of the roof beams. Some of these trees were taken from on site. These beams are pinned into the bag wall using a coated rebar. Using the roof beams and additional pieces, we created a bond beam around the top of the building to reinforce the structure. Now we are placing the 4x10 Douglas fir rafters. <laughs> Next, we lay a two and a half inch thick Douglas fir tongue and groove decking over the rafters. Then we spread a layer of reflective mylar over the decking. Following that, we fit the roof with a rigid insulation. Finally, we place the plywood, cardboard, and the EPDM roof liner. The track hoe lifted the soil onto the roof, which we then spread by hand. We used the track hoe to build the berm around the structure. Then we laid layers of black plastic and rigid insulation over the berm, covering it up with a thick layer of wood chips. These layers keep the house and the soil around it dry and warm, allowing us to store the summer heat in the berm to be released over the winter. This technique is known as passive annual heat storage. Laying a bag. First you put a bag onto a bag stand and place it in position. Then fill the bag with moist sand and clay, tamping it into the bag as you go. Once the bag is full, remove it from the bag stand and tie it up. Ideally the bottom of the bag is already in its place, but occasionally you need to move it over a bit. This requires two people. Before laying the bag down, it is a good idea to smear a small amount of clay slip onto the previous course to ensure that the two bricks stick together really well. To lay down a bag, simply drop it into place. 
camping must be very thorough. If you want to learn more about how to build with Earth, take a workshop from Earth in Hand Natural Building. We teach and empower people all over the world. Go to earthinhand.com to learn more.